Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve another popular lead code coding interview question 2678 number of senior citizens. So this is a very recent and popular coding problem on lead code. So we are going to go through this problem today. We are going to understand this problem and its Java solution code. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel now. Also click on the bell notification icon button right away. So you won't miss any important postings from this channel. Here we create videos and content to help others in their interview preparation and learning different computer science concepts. So let's start. You are given a zero indexed array of strings details. Each element of details provides information about a given passenger compressed into a string of length 15. The system is such that the first 10 characters consist of the phone number of passengers. The next characters denote the gender of the person. The following two characters are used to indicate the age of the person and the last two characters determine the seat allocated to the person. Okay, this is how the string is arranged. Okay, return the number of passengers who are strictly more than 60 years old, right, which are basically number of senior citizens. So we want to find out number of senior citizens, right. Uh, so number of passengers which are uh, strictly more than 60 years old. So details dot length is between 1 to 100, details i dot length is 15, details i consist of digits from 0 to 9, details i 10 is either m or f or 0, the phone numbers and seat numbers of passengers are distinct. Okay, so let's take a look at this example so you will understand it. So these two things actually denote the age, right, so 75 is the age here then um, the next age is 92 here and the next age is 40 here right so how many passengers are more than 60 two passengers right 75 and 92 so that's why the answer is 2 that's what we want to find out right so you understood right how we have chosen this 75 because uh, that's what they are saying the first 10 characters are phone number the next character is gender so total characters we have to uh, skip is 11 character the 12th and 13th character we have to consider right 12th and 13th character will give us the age of the person basically okay here is another example here the age is 20 which is less than 60 and 56 is also less than 60 so there are zero passengers uh, who are uh, greater than 60 so which are zero passengers who, who are senior citizens okay so now this is what the problem says. So the problem statement is very clear. So we can just use a string class a substring method and then we can convert that into a integer by using integers.parseInt. Right. So let's take a look at this uh, Java solution. So this is how we can implement this Java solution. So here you can see that this count seniors is the method we are implementing details array is given to us. Uh, and we are going to return int which is number of senior citizens will create one counter we'll call it as a result which is zero in the beginning we are going to go through each of the detail here right <clears throat> there can be multiple details uh, in the given array so for each detail we have to find out the age so we are going to use the substring method of the string class right and we want actually 12th and 13th character if it is one based and if it is zero based we want uh, 11th and 12th character right so it means that you can just use substring 11 comma 13 that will give you the age and you have to also convert it into integer by using integer dot parse int method once you get the age you are, you are just going to check if it is greater than 60 you are going to count it as a senior citizen the reset plus plus so you will be looping through all the details you will count that senior citizens here in the result at the end you are just going to return the result which will give you number of senior citizens so let's run this code make sure this code works correctly with these test cases so for the first test case we are expecting 2 as the answer so let's take a look so here you are seeing 2 which is a correct answer for the second test case we are expecting 0 as the answer and you are seeing 0 which is a correct answer submit this code now to the lead code make sure it gets accepted and as you can see the code is successfully accepted by the lead code it is 85.32 percent faster on the performance side and 42.55 percent on the memory usage which is a pretty good solution to solve this coding problem 
2678 only good number of senior citizens so i hope you like this java solution to solve this coding problem today so i'm going to add this java solution code uh, in my github repository and give you the link of my repository in the description section so you can check out the other uh, programming and algorithmic solutions there lots of other important solutions are also available in the github repository uh, such as pl sql uh, oracle mysql java j2 and unix solutions those are important ones those are recently asked questions by big tech companies in their interviews so they will give you more insight and ideas about how to do the implementations of different uh, problem solutions if you like the programming solutions in the github repository consider giving it a star on the github repository that would be great if you are new to this channel there is a very important playlist we have created to help your interview rounds it is called as lead code and lean code solutions more than 200 most frequently asked very important coding interview problems are compiled for you under one playlist those problems are asked by many big companies including google facebook amazon apple microsoft yahoo uber lyft linkedin netflix and many others many many times in their past interviews they are very very important coding interview problems make sure you go through all of them understand them completely um, if you want to practice more coding problems then there are three other playlists we have created on this channel for you the names of those playlists are code forces code chef at coder if you go to the playlist of this channel you will find those playlists listed out there lots of interesting important and exciting problems are waiting for you there if you like this java solution today how we have solved this coding problem number of senior citizens elite code 2678 problem then please give it a thumbs up to this video give it a like to this video subscribe to this channel subscriptions are very important because that's how the videos can reach to other people so others will also be able to watch and learn from this channel so do subscribe and share this content with all your friends and colleagues so they will also learn programming and problem solving click on the bell notification icon button right away so you won't miss any important forthcoming postings of uh, interesting solved coding problems from this uh, channel <clears throat> if you want to learn more data structures and algorithms you want to learn more problem solving java programming and coding there are then there are lots of solved coding problems videos that you can use from this channel that includes all important coding questions varieties including dynamic programming graphs matrices binary search trees binary trees breadth first search depth first search cadence algorithm binary search algorithm kruskal's algorithm dijkstra algorithm sliding window algorithm there are lots of other important data structure questions are also available for you on this channel that includes stacks queues priority queues hash table hash map tree set hash set linked hash map linked hash set arrays linked list all are important problems those are selective coding questions those are asked by big tech companies in their interview rounds uh, recently uh, to the mid-level and junior level development positions so make sure you go through all of them and understand them completely they will definitely give you a good preparation for your interview rounds will help you learn more concepts of computer science and programming if you're planning to take any java g2 interviews then there are lots of java g2 related videos we have created on this channel to help others for example frequently asked java telephonic interview questions and how to answer them java design patterns java architecture sql programming questions to the freshers where they will give you database tables they will ask you to write sql queries where you may have to use different database related concepts like inner join outer join left outer join right outer join aggregate functions group band having clauses different where clause conditions important windowing and ranking functions along with partitioning everything is explained on this channel with example sql queries for your easier and clear understandings there are videos that discusses unix questions are also available here for you such as unix commands unix utilities shell scripting questions all are here on this channel for you to help you in your interview preparation process if you like the videos on this channel if they're helping your learning and uh, interview preparation process you are learning more coding programming by watching these videos then please do leave your messages and feedback below these videos your feedback is very important for us it increases our motivation to create more quality content videos on this channel to help others so that others can also learn programming and problem solving click on the bell notification icon button so you will always receive notifications for all our interesting upcoming videos from this channel here we create content to help others in their interview preparation process 
keep learning keep coding keep solving more varieties of coding problems and most importantly keep your learning process and practicing going on continuously and thanks for watching these videos